um, you know, you if you SDI to the side and he guesses correctly with the wave dash, uh, then you then he still will be able to chase you with a, a full hump shine or something like that. But if you SDI the um, the shine up, then he can't reach you, but with a short hop up air, which is like his tallest move. Uh, so you force them to either full hop or um, get nothing. You know, wait, wait for you to get to the ground. Yeah. I've always uh, been in the camp of Smash DIing the shine behind them. Yeah, just yeah. Just because it makes yeah. it really difficult. Yeah, what Falcos do, and honestly, they're probably not doing it uh, like cognizantly. They will realize on which side of their body you, they, on which side of the opponent's body they are, and they will wave dash in that direction. So if I'm on the right side of your body, uh, I will wave dash to the left because shine tends to send you uh, that way. That's smart. Yep. Who's Team Nick? Uh, Team Nick is a man from Oregon who came here to play Smash Brothers with the DFW and unfortunately ran into Mo Mojo pretty early. Jeez. Yep. So this yeah. is kind of early on in the bracket. Yeah, I actually think um, I, it's not too early, but I think he uh, beat Pitt to get here. Oh, okay. Yep. That's pretty good. Pitt's pretty good. Yeah, we were talking outside and uh, he mentioned being beaten by a Jigglypuff who he hadn't seen before. Wow, interesting air dodge in that platform. It looked pretty weird. Yep. You know, I was kind of expect, uh, for some reason in my head, I expect Mojo to play this like super aggressively, but he, he definitely seems to be playing the game that a lot of people are considering these days to just be the correct way to play against Jigglypuff. Yeah, yeah you have to make that decision, right? Uh, either I'm going to try to build damage until about 60% and go for the up throw up air, or I'm going to build damage to where my back air will kill her and I will not go in until I'm, I've reached that damage. Oh. Yeah. See, that should never work. Yeah, if, if Mojo DI'd that correctly, uh, then he would have been able to come back and up smash killer. She was at 60, so, uh, you know, a little bit of a mistake there by Mojo, but he could have been not aware of his damage and thought, if I DI this up, then I'll actually live. Yeah. It's kind of hard because, you know, you, you reacting to your missed tech, your opponent is also reacting to that at the same time, so right. you have to immediately have that option in mind and then choose that that's the one they're going to go for. Yeah, and her jab does uh, so little damage that it's a lot harder to uh, just buffer rolls and things like that. Yeah. 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 That was almost really nice. Uh, I will think it was really nice if the next time that uh, Mojo techs right next to Nick, that he doesn't cover it with the jab if he actually techs the or chases the tech away. Mm -hmm. That's when you really know, that's when I really know that my opponent is noticing what I'm doing and that I need to be careful with my defense to make sure that I'm not uh, using habits and things like that to get away or falling into their baits. Uh, similar like in the last set when Bobby would uh, roll in and SWAP knew that, so he would run at him, cause him to roll in, then just wave dash back and grab him. That's that, uh, that's that player versus player observational movement stuff. Yeah. Nice forward smash. Uh, Mojo could have uh, sweet spotted that and not gotten forward smash, but when you drop down that low and you can't see yourself, it's tough. Yeah, I also think uh, he obviously didn't know that he had a double jump, which I'm kind of surprised uh, about because it happened kind of in the middle of the stage. Gotcha. Yeah, that no, that makes total sense why his uh, timing was a little bit off there because when you start the up B, often you'll get, do a little double jump first and it'll mess up your spacing. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Yeah. It's so hard for Jigglypuff to chase Fox. Yeah, He's just so quick, and uh, she can't quite... She has to commit to a double jump to reach uh, reach a little bit higher on the side platforms mm -hmm. or even uh, reach the top platform. Yeah. And if you're running around on the top platform, part of what makes that good is not your ability to stay up there and knock somebody down when they try to come get you. It's the fact that a character like Jigglypuff had to... Uh, full hop double jump to get to you yeah. and then Fox runs off the platform and is suddenly under Jigglypuff. Yeah, and she's got less than eight jumps or whatever. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, I think that uh, Nick actually did a really good job there, although I will say that Mojo made some pretty key mistakes which would have made it look like more of a route. I agree. He's, he's, he's just getting walled out. Yep. That's what she does. I mean, the criticism against uh, Jigglypuff style, right, is that, like, they aren't or kind of can't be very aggressive. Uh, so it's a lot of like, uh, it's a lot of conditioning by doing your wall of pain and then not doing it. Ooh. And then when you don't do it, you get a thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was nice of Mojo to call out that, that jump with his up here. Yeah, he was also calling out the fade back because when Team uh, when team Nick has been trying to get back or has been walling, yeah. he's always been going in, out, right. in, out. 
And if you can pick up on that kind of stuff, then Jigglypuff suddenly becomes very vulnerable. There's actually 19 frames of end lag on her back air, so it's uh, definitely reactable for a lot of characters. Yeah, we were talking uh, recently, a friend of me, about just what makes uh, kind of her so hard to fight. And a lot of it is her size. Uh, she's just a small hurt box, you know? So yeah. it's like uh, you kind of have to deal with competing hit and hurt boxes when she does her back air. But, you know, like with anything, um, you are, you're exactly right when you say that her moves have end lag, you know, similar to Marth, where it's like, yeah, that's a huge hitbox, but if it doesn't hit you, then it's a lot of time that you get to punish. Yeah, and that's why the matchups for uh, the matchups for her get less and less close the slower and slower the other character is. That makes sense. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I don't know where Melee would be. Yeah, he's out of jump. Uh, I don't know where Melee would be if uh, Fox wasn't there to check Puck. I think Fox is the best, best character in yeah. any game I've ever played. Yeah? Because... Like, I've played a bunch of games competitively, including uh, StarCraft 2, and when there's a better strategy, it's just better. Sure, sure, sure. But, like, Fox is a character who is just better than other characters, but he's so difficult to control that it makes it not quite as oppressive, I don't think. I, I totally agree. I, I like that uh, even though he is, you know, he has more tools, more options, all these other things, uh, it doesn't feel necessarily like you're being cheesed. Uh, yeah, it like, can if you're feel a better player, way, you'll still beat him. Yeah, yep. That's what I love about Melee. I mean, tricking people, right? Yeah, <laughs> speaking of tricking people, that was a really good yeah. bait when he dropped through and then Wade the landed on. Yeah, see, this is kind of what I was talking about, where it's like, this one hasn't been as close. Basically, Mojo's just been beating him the whole match, uh, and there hasn't been any any times where he's brought it back to you know make you think he's on his way to coming back and winning. Oh, my gosh. Dude, Fox's full hop, I feel like, is the scariest thing that Puff can deal yeah, with. Yeah, it's a spot touch. <laughs> I, the thing is uh, <laughs> crazy. Did you say like, it's a spot touch? Yeah, it's. Uh, oh my god, it is. Like, oh my gosh, they're. Uh, uh, okay. Ooh. Chooses not to rest, which is so smart there. That is uh, total awareness of where he is as far as percent and stock count. That's how you know he's a main. Yeah, for sure. I, I definitely would have rested because I'm a dingus. Uh. Yeah, I don't know about covering that with the uh, forward smash. I don't even know if that would have actually covered Fox Sweet Spot. I think it would have, but the the problem with it is, of course, if they don't take that, then you don't get to edge guard them. Sure. Yeah, I mean, and honestly, Mojo's a pro at this, so yeah, uh, yeah. He got he got a little bit unlucky that I think he was probably not seated correctly with uh, as where his skill level seemed uh, versus when he had it to fight Mojo. Okay, well, GP's gonna swap me out.